Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green and yellow squares along with this uh, blue right triangle ABC put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, blue triangle ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, side AB is equal to this uh, side length BC and moreover the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, is uh, 88 centimeter square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of these uh, yellow and green uh, squares uh, combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, abc and we know that this uh, side uh, ab is equal to this side uh, bc let me label uh, this side uh, ab as an x then this uh, side bc is going to be x uh, as well and now we know that the area has been given to us uh, as 88 uh, centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, our base uh, is uh, x and our height is uh, x uh, as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula our area is uh, 88 uh, equals to a half uh, times our base is x and our height is x as well let's go ahead and simplify so we got 88 equal to x square divided by 2 let me go ahead and undo this uh, this fraction by multiplying by 2 on both sides of this equation and here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our x square value turns out to be 100 and uh, 76 and here's our next step let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle uh, abc and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, ac and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square where in our case uh, our longest uh, leg is uh, ac so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is x so this is going to become x square likewise plus uh, x square equal to our uh, c length uh, is uh, a c whole uh, square let's combine the like terms uh, so we are going to get uh, a c square equal to 2 times uh, x square and now we know that our x square value is 176 so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, this uh, x square value as 176 uh, over here so therefore let's go ahead and substitute ac square equal to 2 times uh, 176 let's go ahead and simplify furthermore ac square equals to 352 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our ac length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 352 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, ac turns out to be square root of uh, 352 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, yellow and green uh, squares let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side length of the yellow square as uh, lowercase uh, a and the uh, side length uh, of this uh, green square as uh, lowercase uh, b and since we are dealing with this uh, yellow square so that means uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths of the yellow square are going to be a across the board and likewise uh, for this uh, green square all the side is going to be lowercase uh, b as well and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square so therefore the area of this uh, yellow square is going to be a square since its side length uh, is a lowercase a and likewise the area of this uh, green square is going to be b square so therefore we can write that the yellow square area is uh, a square and uh, the area of uh, green square is uh, 
b square so therefore the total area of these uh, yellow and green squares combined is going to be a square plus uh, b square and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, a square plus uh, b square and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this point uh, d with this uh, c and uh, a and as a result we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, adc and here's our next step let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, adc and we know it's a uh, side uh, ac is uh, square root of 352 now let's make an observation we know that uh, this uh, side is uh, lowercase b and uh, this side is uh, lowercase uh, a so therefore this whole uh, a d length uh, is going to be a plus uh, b and now we know that this uh, whole uh, side uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, side uh, is uh, equal to this uh, side of this green triangle which is uh, lowercase b so therefore uh, this uh, c d length uh, is going to be a minus uh, b and now we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and our longest leg is the square root of 352 and our other two legs are a plus b and a minus b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, a plus b whole uh, square plus uh, our other side is uh, a minus uh, b whole uh, square is going to be equal to our side length uh, c is uh, square root of 352 and then i'm gonna take a whole uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square i am going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side and likewise let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square i am going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial so let's go ahead and take care of it so a square plus uh, 2 times uh, a b plus uh, b square plus uh, likewise uh, a square minus uh, 2 times a b plus uh, b square equal to a square and square root undo each other so we are ended up with simply 352 on the right hand side and now we can see this positive 2 a b and negative 2 a b they cancel each other out let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so we are ended up with the 2 a square plus uh, 2 times uh, b square turns out to be 352 and now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board so i am going to divide each and every term by 2 across uh, the board so therefore we ended up with the uh, a square plus uh, b square equal to 176 and now let's make an observation we know that the area of this uh, yellow and green uh, squares combined is uh, a square plus uh, b square and we figured out a square plus b square equals to 176 so therefore uh, the area for this uh, yellow and green squares combined is going to be 176 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of these uh, yellow and uh, green squares combined turns out to be 176 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye